So before the break, we sat down with Lieutenant Tim Robinson of the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, just one of thousands of local law enforcement authorities that we count on to protect us. And we are extremely grateful for that. Yes, we are. But those human officers, as we'll call them in this situation, are just one part of keeping us safe, as we heard Lieutenant Robinson discuss. Today, we're taking some time to learn and see more of what our treasured police canines do. And just like their handlers, it's so important to ensure they also have the equipment needed to protect them. Delmarva Life Sydney Whitfield spent some time with some of our local officers to hear how you can help make that happen. We are proud of our canine teams here on Delmarva, and this next event is dedicated to keeping them safe while they're on the job. The 2018 Ales for Tails fundraiser is an event for canine teams throughout the state of Delaware. Lenny Aguilar is an assistant trainer for the Delaware State Police Canine Unit, and he says it's important for people to know what it takes to assemble a strong, effective canine team. A dog is the oldest domesticated species on this planet. Almost every family across this world has a dog. So there, there's a relationship there with dogs, dogs working with humans. And now we have dogs working with police officers. So they want to know, well, how do you get the dogs to work with police officers and do police work? He conducts demonstrations in the community throughout the year to explain how this dynamic really works, just like the one he did here for the children at Camp Barnes. So the part of our canine demonstrations, especially for our youngsters, is trying to explain a little bit about how we ask a dog, a domesticated dog, to work and do police work with police, with humans, with police humans. And while those dogs are actually working, they run the risk of getting injured, which is why it's important for canine handlers to learn how to be first responders for their dogs. In this case, the medical training that we want to get for all our handlers, for all the canine handlers throughout the state, is what we call like basic life support. If should a dog get injured in the line of duty, whether it be very traumatic or something very simple where he's cutting himself, tracking or searching for a suspect in a building or something, and we have uh, first aid kits. We are now getting first aid kits specifically for canines issued to all our handlers. Now we need to train our handlers on how to properly use these first aid kits to apply that to their dogs initially right there in the field, some initial triage on the dog before we transport them for advanced uh, medical facility. And Ocean View K-9 Police Corporal Justin Hopkins says with the proper funds, they can supply their team with the training that they need. Training like this costs money and not everybody has that big pool of money to draw from to send all their guys to things like this. Uh, the training that I'm looking for, we, we haven't had a, a real need for it yet in Delaware. I, I do say yet because I think eventually there's going to uh, come a time when a dog is injured and if we don't have this training, they're going to they're going to pass and that's going to be very damaging to the community and to the officer themselves because those dogs are family to us. And because those dogs are like family, Justin is hosting the 2018 Ales for Tails fundraiser. The funds for this event will go directly into training Delaware K-9 teams. So at the event, we're going to have uh, food made available. Um, it's going to be barbecue, $15 for adults, $6 for kids. Um, and that's going to get you a plate of food and a non-alcoholic beverage of choice. We're also going to have alcoholic beverages for those over 21. Uh, and that's going to be for sale by 16 Mile Brewery itself. Uh, as far as activities, we're going to have a live band, the First State Force, playing for the event. And even with all the fun and food, Justin says he's the most eager about spending time with local residents and families and spreading awareness on the canine teams. I think what I'm most excited about is just being able to interact with the community on, on a more social level. I'm not going to be in uniform. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to have a beer with everybody else, eat my barbecue, and. Um, for, the, for the guys that are bringing their dogs, the folks will get to see them and interact with them as well. So I think that's really cool. I didn't do anything, man. Get that dog out of here. Wow. And just as Justin said, the day will also feature a multi-agency canine demonstration. Ales for Tails kicks off at 11 a.m. this Saturday, August 11th at 16 Mile Brewery in Georgetown. It is a family fun event. We'll have more information on our website, delmarvalife.com.